Welcome to ArtBase 10. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a list from your inventory file. So here's a sample list that I just created. It looks word processed. It looks like I spent a lot of time on it, but I didn't. Uh, here are some images on the left hand side, some artwork details here, and some prices on the right hand side if I want them. So now I'm going to go back and show you how I created this list. First you want to start in your inventory file. In the inventory you want to select your found set. So review the training video on creating found sets if you don't know how to do that. So I have a found set of four records. I can then go to my inventory menu at the top of the screen and choose lists and create a new list. Would you like to create a list for your four items? So this is basically checking to make sure that I have the right number. I can now assign a list name. Okay, so here's my list screen. Uh, you'll see down here you have all of your items in a list view and you can scroll through them. There's different printing options here. So you can choose what to sort by, for example, maybe alph alphabetically by artist and title, um, inventory number, uh, list number, by size, or by date. Uh, if you choose list number, that will sort them by whatever numbers you assign in this sort order area. So if I put some numbers on my list here, it's going to already start sorting them for me. Okay, so um, there's my numbers. I can then, um, uh, you know, when I print this out, let's have a quick look at that. It'll be in the order that I put it in. So let's come back and make some changes to this list. Uh, for example, you can subsort by artist. So let's come back and look at this list. If all of these were records um, were by the same artist, I might not want it to print the artist name on every single one of them. I would want it to put the artist name at the top and then list the artworks underneath. And that's what this field is for, subsort by artist. Do you want to print images? Yes. Uh, what prices do you want to print? I'm going to print retail price, maybe cost. Um, you can also choose what currency, uh, and you have your four main currencies here to choose from. Uh, let's just say I wanted to print both currencies. I can go ahead and do that. And you'll see both currencies and both prices appear. Okay. Um, I can choose whether cents print, so that's essentially, um, you know, if you don't want the dot zero zero to print at the end, you can deselect that. These are the main fields that you can print on your list. However, um, you also have this additional fields tab, and in the additional fields tab, you have almost every field in the inventory that you can choose from to print on this list. Okay, you can print a date at the bottom, page numbers, totals, uh, and you can decide to print the sort numbers. So one, two, three, four, do you want those numbers to print on the list? At the bottom here, you can choose what font or font size to print your list out in. This will default to your main font and font size. You can choose the spacing between the artworks, and you can choose the image resolution. So it depends on what you're using your list for. If you're printing a list out, you always want it to be the original resolution. But let's just say you are emailing it to someone and you know that they'll never want to try to print it out. Uh, you might do a smaller one and then it will be more screen resolution size and the PDF that you create will be smaller. Okay, uh, so we saw additional fields, that's here. Um, headers, you can put a header on your list. Uh, you can use bold, italics, underline here, so you can come in and, and you know, format your list in a certain way. This is the title header. It will print only on the first page. The secondary header will print on every other page. And the end comments will only print at the end. Okay, and finally there's exhibition information. So if this was an exhibition, you can enter lots of details about the exhibition in here. 
um, a subtitle, location of the exhibition, a description, start and end dates, and even a website for that exhibition. Okay, so let's preview the list one more time. So with my options that I've chosen, this is what it looks like. Maybe I come in here and I decide, you know what, um, I don't want to print the entire title on this one. I want to shorten the title. I can come back here and edit this information uh, by going to each individual artwork. So you can click on the blue dot next to the artwork you want to edit, and then you can change all that information. All of the information about this artwork in your inventory is listed in here, and you can make all of these different changes. Um, so there's some other features in this screen, actually. You have View in Inventory. If you want to just go to the inventory for this artwork, um, you just hit that button. It will take you right there. You can come back to the List screen here. Uh, you can remove this artwork from the list. And you can also use this nice feature called Update from Inventory. Update from Inventory allows you to, um, let's just say you are, you've printed out your list and you have a look at it and you realize that all the dimensions are wrong on these, these works. So you need to change them uh, in the, back in the inventory. Well, in this screen here, you're just editing the list. You're not editing the information back in your inventory. So the inventory is not affected when I, I edited that title. Um, that's, of course, very important. You don't want to mess up the in, in, information from your inventory when you're changing, you're rearranging your list. Um, however, maybe you go back to the inventory and you update all those dimensions and make them correct. You want your list to now reflect what the inventory says. So you can use this feature called Update from Inventory, and it will update all of that information, essentially overwriting what's in the list, to what it says back in the inventory. So there's my full title again. Okay, so that's creating lists. I'm also going to show you if you don't want to enter this information every time, what you can do is you can go to the settings file and you can choose lists and you can set all the settings to be exactly what you want them to be every time. Okay, that's creating lists in the inventory. Thank you.